In this gospel snippet, I want to say a few words on John 17 and verse 3. The Lord Jesus Christ is praying to his Father in his great prayer as mediator. And he says this. He makes this categorical statement. This is eternal life, to know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you send. John 17, verse 3. I say it is a categorical, dogmatic statement, admitting of no if or but or maybe or perhaps. There is only one true God, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is only one Redeemer, His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And God the Father sent God the Son into the world. And Christ is here praying to his Father. And he says this to him. This is eternal life, to know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you send. Knowing God, being in union with God, in fellowship with God, trusting, believing, hoping, resting, relying upon, welcoming, God in the Lord Jesus Christ, coming to God through the Lord Jesus Christ by faith, relying upon him, trusting his blood and righteousness, trusting his mediation, trusting in his person, his name, his work, his merits. That is the way to receive eternal life. John 14, verse 6, Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Peter Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Salvation, there is no salvation in any other name other than in the name of Jesus Christ. As I say, it's a dogmatic, categorical statement. You either receive it or you don't. You either believe it or you don't. What about Hinduism, Sikhism, uh, Islam? All the other isms, theologies, philosophies. There is only one true God, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is only one way of salvation, knowing that God through and by and in the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the categorical statement. Now, I'm not here to apologize for that statement, I am here to assert it. But I am a preacher. And therefore I want to preach it, even in this very brief snippet. What do I mean? It's not simply the fact, my friend, that I put before you. I put the fact before you to plead with you on the basis of this fact, to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ now, to trust him, to receive him, to welcome him, to rely upon him, to call upon him, to be washed in his precious blood, to trust his righteousness. This is eternal life. To refuse him is eternal damnation. And I plead with you, do not refuse him. I urge you, I press you, I expostulate with you. I press you now, I urge you, I call upon you, I invite you to call upon the name of the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, and be saved. For this is eternal life, to know God the Father, the only true God, through faith, in the Lord Jesus Christ. So trust him now, I plead with you. Amen.